Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Ottoman Empire destroying the other nations of the world. We basically have the last little bits of what we need. I could literally end the episode right now, but what I really want to do is I want to siege down the rest of this land, especially the rest of um, Greek land, because Greek land is going to be the most important land out there. And once we finish up with the Greeks, then we can officially end this war, and we can officially then begin our war with the mighty Chinese Empire. Which should actually begin very soon. By the way, do I do I even have the Cosmos Belli yet? I forgot. Do I? Yes, I do have the Cosmos Belli. When does it expire? December, December of 1904. Okay, so I have to be very careful. I could accidentally not see the date come up and then we'd be in bad juju. You don't want bad juju too. Bad juju very bad. Juju very bad. Let's see, go right there. Let's go see, go to Zante. Zante is the last little province we need. Once we get that, then officially Greek is going to re-enter our empire. The long-awaited feud between the Ottoman Empire and the Greeks is about to be over. And there's absolutely nothing they can do about it, because I'm about to end them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait for it, guys. Wait for it. And... Boop. And... Let's see. Come on. Keep that Keep that peace still going. France, don't you dare do anything. Don't you dare do anything. Don't you dare do anything. Okay. Okay. So, Greece, set a piece you out. What? Hmm? Oh my goodness, I still got one more province. Dang it. Ah, <sighs> stupid. The Indo Greece's independence runs strong with this one. Okay, let's go finish out this one, and... There we go. Now, Greece, what was that about not accepting my, my generous annexation? Thank you. And France... Thank you! And everyone, we officially own the French. This is a gra this is a crowning day in Ottoman history. We officially own the rest of Europe. By the way, I better start finding good supply limit for all you guys. Let's go see. Let's go see, yeah, you guys go right there. You guys go right there. Let's see, are you guys all fine? You guys all fine. Let's see, and then you guys also want to become provinces. Sure, we can make you guys provinces. Yes, you guys can become provinces. Yes, and then look at that. And now we have land over here. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yeah, guys, we officially become a gigantic empire. And now with the gigantic empire, we're going to release some people. Um, North New Ghana Union. You know, I don't, like I said, I don't really care too much about my African, you know, Africa can be free. Basically, what I think of this is that we can make Africa free. We don't, we don't really use Africa too much so we can make Africa free. So let's just keep releasing little tiny states of these guys. Let's see. There we go. Anyone new over here? I guess not. I guess they all formed over here. Oh, wow. Okay, seems like we made a new island state, everyone. The new Northern Ghana region. Yay! Yay, they're their own independent country! Yay, they're completely 100% Mesoamerican. Okay, and let's see, the Ottoman West Ghana. Sure, why not? We'll make that an entirely good state of ours. Okay, now that we got all this, I guess what I'm going to start doing next is start fabricating a claim on the Burma. Why Burma, everyone? Because I'm, t I'm pretty sure that my troops can't move into this land. Yeah. If I remember correctly, Victoria 2 has this weird rule where you can't move across the Himalayas. I don't know, it sounds really ridiculous that you can't just have 100,000 men move across the Himalayas. So, what we're going to do is we're going to solve this problem by conquering Burma. Burma is probably going to be our next conquest. Alright, and I don't... And I'm also going to hold off just right now on invasions, by the way. Make all of our factories... Wait, no, don't close all of our factories and just substitute them all. I have literally enough money to support any type of, yeah, I was about to say, my um, my money is like crazily good right now, so, yeah. Uh, just conquest, Burma, and let's see. Alright, uh, we have our troops right up here. Got some of our troops starting to arrive from the north. That's good. That's really good, actually. <laughs> okay, we got some troops right over here. I'm gonna go send you guys back over here, and I'm gonna have to remake you guys, probably. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just be too lazy about it. But anyways, I need to like go send you guys down over here. 
And what else I need to do is I need to start building some new steamer ships. Uh, no, a little bit less people. Let's see, I need it around Europe, actually. Europe. Where's Europe? Europe? Where's Europe? 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 This is Europe. There we go. Oh my goodness, there's so many clippers. No, Europe. I need less clippers. Uh, North America. Bells passed. There we go. 69, build some... Uh, somebody can make a joke about that, but let's see. Um, yeah, 69 steamers. That way I can start actually building more advanced ships because I feel like we need to build more advanced ships. Because I need to, what I need to start doing is I need to start shipping this gigantic army everywhere around the world. Not just in my provinces, but everywhere. We need to have gigantic armies everywhere in the world. So, that's kind of my basic theory around this. Plus, by the way, Japan, do you like me now? Will you guys accept an alliance? Yes, you will. Good. You guys will probably help me out with a little bit of China. Hopefully, they won't be, like, complete and other idiots. Let's see. You guys go right there. You guys spit out right there. You guys just stay right there. I don't want to kill off my men yet. I don't want them all to die nutrition just yet. Just yet. Okay, yeah. There we go. So, we have a good amount of invasion force up there. Decent amount of invasion force down here. China, do you have any allies? No. You guys are completely lone stars. That's even better. Let's see. Do I have any type of... Alright. I, I believe we're completely ready. Belfast won't join in this war. You guys sure? You guys were my buddies for the longest of times. You guys should not abandon me. Like, I know we can have our differences. Oh my goodness, look at that Ottoman Empire. That is so sexy right there, people. That is so sexy. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Well then, I believe we're basically ready for our war with China. So, let's begin. China! It's time for you guys to die. Time for you guys to die. Time for you guys to die. Alright. And let's see. You guys all move in right now. In fact, yeah, just move in right now. The rest of you guys on the front. Belfast betrayed me, but Japan joined in. That's good, because Japan was the one I needed in. Alright, all you guys. Bohemia calling you guys. Alright, Romania, I'm going to call on you guys. Can't call on you guys. Uh, let's see. Baden, you guys can come in, just because why not. Uh, you guys over here, Armenia, you guys definitely need to come in. Yes, and then you over here, Algeristan, you guys definitely need to come in. Thank you. And let's see, is anyone else need to really call in? Nah. Everything, everyone else is fine. Okay, so let's go in, let's go back to the war, everyone. Now we're going to, oh wait, wait. Philippines. You guys should definitely come in on this. Oh, and New Ghana? Okay, you guys, Northern Ghana? You guys should definitely come in on this, too. I don't know what you guys' militaristic strength is like, but you guys are gonna rock it. Okay? I don't even, how, how strong are you guys? 406k, that's actually not that bad. Considering it's just an island state, that's not that bad. Okay, so everyone, let's prepare for the war! Yay! Okay, so... 19.22. Well... That's a shocker that I got more. I got more. Okay, so let's see. Um, we're completely crushing through China's men right there. Um, basically, what my strategy is is I'm going to destroy all their men before I start severely moving in. So let's see. I'm going to combine actually this army right here, and they're basically going to just go crush all of these like Chinese forces right here. So let's go see. Go right here. Go right there. Go right there. Go right there. Go back up here. Okay. Um, let's see, my 117 men, what I'm going to do with them is divide them up. You guys go over here, go conquer a little bit more of Taiwan. Let's see, and then one of you guys go right here, go conquer a little bit of that boat. We're going to do a two prolonged front, that way we attack both the Chinese from the north and from the south. Let's see, and we're attacking them all over the place over here. Let's see, I'm pretty sure, what are you talking about, the doubter? Man, the Doubter. I hate the Doubter. The Doubter is one of the worst characters in this game. Okay. Let's see. You guys go right there. You guys go right there. I'm basically moving in very, very slowly from the north. While my other people try to hold the south or the east and the west from the Chinese. Because otherwise... Oh my goodness, this is our first rebellion, people. What does it look like? Holy mother of pearl, that is a beep in a rebellion. Huh. Hmm. You know, for the first rebellion we've ever had in our entire history, I have to admit, that is a pretty impressive one. 
I mean, I never would have known that we have literally got a thousand rebels just chilling out on our border. Okay? But, let's see, is there any in Africa? Oh my goodness. Okay. I almost feel like, you know, I almost feel like giving Africa independence because of that. Okay? Uh, almost. So, let's see. You guys go chill with that. You guys go chill with that. Go kill all these men, please. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a pain to deal with. Like, seriously, a pain. Okay, Zenny, do I have any more men? I do have some men over there. I'll go get them to go get in service in a little bit. First, I have to, like, deal with all this, so. China, definitely being China. Let's see, you guys finished up with your guys' siege. Let's see, you guys go right there. You guys go right there. We're just trying to conquest all this. We're already at the Beijing Palace. Wow, that is a quite an amazing feat. We only did that in literally a couple days. Okay, let's see, we're defeating lots of rebels. Let's see, most of them that have defeated rebels, defeated rebels. Let's see, you guys are going to need to go hunt down all these guys, because I don't think I'm going to be able to deal with them all by myself. Seriously. Oh my goodness. That is insane! How many rebels do you... Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm going to faint. Hey, Lithuania, I need you guys to come clean up my borders. Can you come clean up my borders? Because this is really... I, I never thought I would ever have a rebellion in this game at all. I thought there would be way too... I thought the tra the communists or whoever's going to try to fight me would be way too chicken to fight me. Apparently not. Apparently some people actually care about that kind of stuff. Okay. Wow. Just wow. They still... The sad part is though is that they're still not invading the right part. All these guys are is the Italian... Is all they are is Ottoman Red Guards. And I can honestly... If they don't have the capital, which is over here, they, they still don't win, so... It's sad, but... Yeah. <laughs> I still have to care too much, but... Oh, wow. And let's see. I do have an army still right there. I was not saying. I was like, why is there a floating army? It's still destroying all it needs to destroy. Apparently, everyone moved. Gonna have to go back up here. Let's see. You guys are doing fine. You guys move in right here. Let's see. And then... We got most of the northern half of China defeated. The police was respected. Excelente. Truth be told. I mean, this is this is the Chinese war though. This is the fine this is the this is kinda sad at the same time, because this is the final people that could actually destroy us. But if we destroy them, we finally end We basically end the last nation that could potentially cause us problems. I mean, I, I, did, I have a feeling that nations could... Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're sieging up all this good land down here. Ah. Uh, Alright, that army might be a little bit messed up when I figure it out. But... Oh, man. That stinks. Oh, oh, oh. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash on me. Don't crash. Don't crash. There we go. Woo! Did not crash on me, people. Did not crash on me. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Let's see, we're winning more battles in Europe because apparently rebellions are really, like, tough. Wow. Alright, and let's see, we're gonna have to start crushing more of these men down here because they are sieging. China's sieging up a lot, and I don't like that. Let's see. And Japan sieging up all that, that's good. Um, do I have any more men I could go bring over new? Okay. Oh my goodness, that is such amazing. Oh my goodness. And 120, 120 forces in Paris. Let's see, and then you guys also go around. Oh my goodness, that is insanely big numbers. Okay, but I'm pretty sure this is the maximum amount that they're ever going to be able to raise against us. Yeah, they're already losing more and more forces each day. 856, that's all they have, but even in rebel terms, that's still not good enough to fight me. I'm still bigger than them. But still, man, that's a hundred. Oh my goodness. We're also invading pretty quickly down in China. Yeah, this is this gets a little bit complex right here. All right, let's see. Let's go crush these guys. Mm. Man, all these Chinese forces are starting to become really, really, really hyper about the fact that they're starting to win just a little bit. Okay, let's see. Let's go crush you guys. Let's go down to you guys. Yeah, this is a lot of armies just everywhere. We're going to have to go down and crush a lot. Oh, my goodness. So many armies. So one thing about China you can guarantee about is that they have a lot of armies. Okay. Let's see. We have a, somewhat of a good front right here. I was moving right there, moving right there. That I can't really move in right there. 
shoot. Okay, it seems like we might be opening ourselves up to a gap. Just attack and just move forward. That's all we have to do. China is literally, that's all we have to do. I don't even know. You know, I'm actually kind of thinking about this. Why am I even caring about all this land that is getting sieged up? Because in all honesty, I don't really need to care. I mean, literally, if they siege up any of this land down here, it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Why am I why am I caring so much about this land? I just have to conquer and siege up all of China, and I basically have what I need. Because they'll give up. They'll give up no matter what I do. Just have to make sure I conquer and siege everything. Let's see, you guys go back over here. Yeah, let's just go. Let's go siege the rest of China. Ignore the rest of their armies. Yeah, I don't really need to fight their armies. I don't even know why I was trying to do that. I mean, I may lose like a death stack here, but... It's not that important that I need to start fighting all my armies. Let's see, but what I do need to make sure is that they don't go and ruin my sieges. If they ruin my sieges, then I need to go, like, destroy them. Okay, because we can't have them ruin my sieges. That's something you can't just do. You can't ruin a man's siege. His man's siege is a man's siege. Okay, let's see. Let's see, we're winning that, winning that. Let's see, we probably should group up more of our men over here. I mean, I like having good... Uh, morales. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, China's definitely giving us a good battlefield. I'll give them credit. They gave us a good battle, but they also kind of should go over and roll over for us now. Dang. Okay, how are we doing in this war over here? Uh, frankly, I think we got mostly underneath our control. Um, mostly. I think there's some problems over here, but I'm pretty sure my people are gonna be able to deal with it. Alright, let's see, in Africa, I think we're dealing with it all, I'm not entirely sure, I might free some of Africa after this, just to give us more troops. Let's see, over here though, I'm gonna need to go crush a lot of these Chinese troops, because they're just overswarming my men. Alright, let's go back up here, let's go see, kaboom! Let's go right here, let's see, what is exactly happening? We have a lot of, okay. We have a lot of Chinese troops right there. Just go start crushing all these armies. Let's see, you guys are going right there. You guys should, you guys are going to crush this army up here. You guys go right there. Mm -hmm. You guys go right there. Yeah, you guys go right there. Just to make sure we crush all these guys. Yeah. Crush them all. Crush them all. Oh man, but there's a lot more. I should be a little bit more weary because there's a lot more Chinese people, as you guys can clearly see, than us. And this might kill us if we don't. If I don't be very careful. Oof. Yeah, this is very much way more Chinese people than than our people. But I'm pretty sure our soldiers are more advanced than them. So it's kind of like, yes, we need to be careful, but we don't need to be too careful to the point where we won't be able to do anything. Now, China, the only, I'm kind of wondering why Japan hasn't sent in any of its troops yet. Cause he, ah, Jiristan, you guys are over here. Good job, people. You need to come help me. Okay, go break up all these Chinese men. Alright, I'm hitting all these Chinese. Uh, let's see, let's see right here, let's see. Ah, oh, shoot, I didn't mean to, ah. Uh. Alright, that just won. They just won a Chinese battle, let's see. Then go right here, go to Wii. Actually, we need to go right here. Go right here. There. There we go. Let's see. Go right there. Let's see. Go right there. Oh, my goodness. There's so many brigades. China is definitely a big nation. With lots of brigades. Lots of brigades. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We lost a lot of troops with this army. Okay. But... It looks like the Chinese are getting slightly weaker in their attempts, like, it looks slightly weaker in terms of what they used to have. Plus, I'm also getting reinforcements from my Ajiristan troops, so they should help out a little bit. That's good. Let's see. Oof. Let's see. Oh my goodness, so many men. See, is there any big armies I could go use this for? You guys go down here, I guess go right here, then go right there. Let's see. Oh my goodness, so many armies. So many armies. Oh man, they just keep coming. They just keep coming. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, Japan. Yay, we got some Japan troops. Uh, 
A Jira stands helping out just a little bit. That's good. Okay, let's try to close in this gap right here. Oh, well, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.